Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Damo. On today's pedal video, we're here. It's Easter Saturday, 2024, at Brooklyn's Motor Museum. They do a classic car Saturday meet. So we brought the 205 along, and we're going to take you around the uh, cars and the exhibits. Serious conversation. I drive a Mark One Golf, and these are the serious competition oh, no. back in the day, uh, weren't they? Yeah, they were rivals, weren't you they? You guys, yeah, rivals. Yeah, you I'm guys. really sorry. No, no, you are. I, I, I can accept. <laughs> My it. brother in law has a Mark One GTI. Really? Yeah, oh, that's yeah, really yeah. nice. And yeah. the other one's the Escort XR3, wasn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. They're yeah, the yeah, three ones. You're exhibiting, them. yeah? Yes, please. Your way through, so have Thank a really you very good much. Day. Cheers. To you. Cheers. Thank you. I can hear that squeaking. Is it the Huntier for you? Not just the Alpha Julia. Alpha Julia. Well, if you, if you can have a white beetle, you may as well make it look like Herbie. I'm heading to our car, so. They've got jerk chicken. Yeah, which one of 
But you can't go right up to the this top of the back. This is a prime right. candidate for Festival of Rune Exceptional. This is a Toyota. I am guessing either a Tesla or a Camry. I think it might be. Camry, yeah. Blue Edge. If you remember these from back in the day. Very square and angular. Extremely 80s styling. Usually quite well spec. Lovely, he's lovely. He's got a lure interior. Uh, it's not got electric windows. I can remember the generation that came after this. They came with electric windows. It's still got the reg plate stamped on the glass. Yes. Black Saab 900 Turbo. With a little leather interior. Five speed manual. Case one of the last. Uh, cool. Three spoke wheels on it. I like that. It's just not over polished, but probably still going to look after. It's all original. It's got a full version of that. It's not a full This is just a little bit. I don't see some tiny little thing. But anyway, Lovely that's why you enjoy your day. Two-tone paint. And you can see yellow colour of brown trim inside with gold carpet. And a silver roof. It's a lovely little thing. You can see in there. It's massive. It's a steering wheel. Hmm. And the Lotus Branch for me. That's just a little tiny gear, I think. Nice, pretty cool. Like that a lot. So tiny. Walk around to the sea plate. It looks like it's quite high. You are Quattro. Maybe. Very ahead of our time. Death blacks aren't real old. My friends don't have one of these. Used to go to school in it. I think it's probably an analog dash. Cloth interior. The later ones had digital dashes and leather. Still a really nice example, looks fairly honest and original. Bit of blemishes to the paint, but misting in the headlights. This is Maserati, it's a four seat, two plus two. But look at the back, look how big the boot is. Interior. Looks like it's had a Okay. Really a turbo in my car? If it is, I don't know. It looks like the original milk plates, or they've been reproduced. Let's have a look at the engine. It's got a lot of dials. It must be a turbo. I don't think it came like that as standard. Crazy thing. Cool though. Interesting thing about this is this is shut. That is the rear side window control. Which makes me think it's definitely an important window control. You know what? Pop it out with the have a look at this Mustang. Yeah, that's good to take it out. Yeah, that's... Doesn't pay well. 
Absolutely. Mint, blue, metallic. Oof. That's incredible. No, 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 How big's the boot? Oh, oh. Yeah, you don't get many 2 plus 2 mid-engine cars with it. That's decent, isn't it? Oh yeah, golf club size, yeah. And the Tiki, it's a V8, isn't it? It's V8, 3.2 litre. Yeah. yeah. Love it. I love it that they squeeze oh, four seats, a, an engine, and then a big. <laughs> it's just amazing. Oh no, it's 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 really easy to work on. You know, it's uh, yeah. You've got quite a lot of access there, haven't you? You know, you've got you've got this side for the belts, so you have to you have to take out the wheel and the wheel yeah. liner and do the belts with the engine in. Then the other side's for the clutch. It's unusual to have such a straightforward uh, Ferrari car that's easy to work on. Oh yeah, yeah, it's uh, it was one of the first ones that you could drop the whole transmission engine out the bottom so it's got literally eight bolts. Wow. And uh, you, you undo those and uh, it, it drops out below you, you know, wheels, everything. So, uh, Love it. Nice quad exhaust. Yes, yes. Oh, it's, it does sound wonderful. Does it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they do, don't they? Yeah, you know, it's... I keep thinking, well, what should I change it for? And I can't think of anything. There isn't, is there, there isn't anything, is there? There's nothing that competes with it, really. You know, I thought, well, you know, I'll buy something. But then I'd go, oh, I need to upgrade this. I need to upgrade the brakes, I need to upgrade the engine. And yeah. This one, I, I haven't... It's all sorted. It's all sorted, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, of course, Ferrari, you get all the bits for it still. and. Yeah, well, you get looked after, don't you, with a... With a with a mark like a Ferrari, they just keep producing the spares, don't they? Yes, yes, yeah. Well, Lamborghinis, you know, they have to wait yeah. for parts, you know. So they spend a lot of time waiting for parts. Well, I've got a Lotus, an Evora, and even that, oh. I'm waiting for, for stuff um, to be made up. And I don't know whether it's because at, at the factory they're all concentrating on the new Amira or what it is. But in these simple little thing, like I'm waiting for a new badge and just different bits and pieces, and it, you, you, they're just not, like, chip getting them made. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. Oh, that's... Mind you, a lot of this I cross-reference to, you know, Bosch fuel injection, and so you can you can get it from other places, Fiat's, yeah. Alfa Romeo's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lovely, lovely. Thank well, you. have a good day. Yes, nice to meet you. Whoa, <laughs> well, <laughs> got better sunglasses. Look, that is shiny. That's insane. And a nice Mustang. Sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's a nice 911 and then MG and a couple of 80s classics. Sea Wedge Polo and 
Mark II Fiesta 1.1 Popular Plus just looks original. Popular Plus, yeah. I had just the popular, not the plus. Mine was a B Reg and it was white. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't quite get all the cool stuff. That had, that's got a slightly better steering wheel than mine. That looks nice though. 1.9 GTR G plate. Beautiful paint, right? Oh my god, that is stunning. Alright, that's slightly better condition than ours, I think. Leather. Half leather. The sale. £20,000. £20,000. Can you get a picture of that for me? It does look original. The wheels look very sparkly and refurbed. I mean, all have been refurbed, but they don't, they don't look quite as snazzy as that. <laughs> Gonna have a look at the Montego T Lisa. Mayfair. Oh, Dad had one of these and used to drive it. It was a Vanden Pla C plate. It was also a 2 litre. God awful slow. That's a movie 280. 380, sorry, SL. Just with the most. I'm saying interesting feeling then. Escort for sale, £22,995, RS Turbo, 103,000 miles, full nut and bolt restoration. That is nice, if you like RS Turbos. There you go, another UR, is it for the UR? I used to go to school in one of these, I've told you many times. Yeah, he had three. Three? Yeah. 43 grand. His last one was on a G plate and it had the full digital dash. That's a, that's a D. It's got the leather, I don't know, have the digi now. It's just like that. Brooklyn is such a great place for eclectic mix of cars. Only G there, but just look over here. So the battered Range Rover. Tailgates with rusty. Headline is falling down. It looks like it's been hand painted. It's got plants in the back. Somehow. Somehow, it's still going. Missing wing bars. It looks like it's been pulled out the back of a hedge. And it's got a private plate on it. Get a picture of that type, that is cool. But I mean, what a car, what a character. Golf G60 Mark II, left hand drive. The reg plate is G60 TB. Nice. Renault 5 GT Turbo. That is a bit of all right. So it's this Golf. It's left on drive. I don't think they did these in this country. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
Bring it on the run. Oh, <laughs> To everybody, you may know if I just absolutely cool question. Time to run over these looks like that. Ain't no. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> the 240 Volvo, 245 diesel, the uh, yeah, one of them. Give me a stick, X Ridge. Yeah, yeah. Full of patina. Looks like it's on original plate. Paint. There's a lot of rust. Yeah, I thought it was one with the red ones, but my dad had one of those in blue. It wasn't a diesel. And we went to Alton Park in it to watch the toy cars in the 90s. Certainly interesting vehicle. Wait, oh, look at this Corvette. This how low it is and how big the wheels are and full body kit on it. That's just nuts. Pearlescent paint pinging in the sun. Nice bit of kit that. Ooh, Supra here, three litre UK plane. Is it manual? Is it a turbo? I don't think it's a turbo. Uh, no, it's not a manual. Yellow Peril 968 Club Sport. Bucket seats, menu again. <laughs> Oh, back seats. Yeah, yeah. Life seems to love it. No back seats, which is a bit annoying because that's part of the charm of the 94944968. Yes, you have got back seats. Oh, with patina. Early D Reg 944. With a lot of patina on the bottom. I was thinking yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next to a Jag XJS. Next to another 911. <laughs> yeah, but well, this is where most of the cars are, isn't it? I think there'll be more cars around by the planes. E-type. This is worth calling out, but no idea what it is. But it's absolutely shiny is a shiny thing. Yeah, I've been around to take a picture. 32 and a half thousand for a two camper. 47 thousand miles, two litre. Four engines. Well, that'd be going, that'd go well. 
No, it folds down, doesn't it, for the downstairs bed. I mean, the regular one is 52. Yeah. And the thing was, though, both Hillary and I don't think club members, I don't know how that worked yeah. on this joint bit. Series TV on Ford Orion. Gold wheels. And an AC Bristol, which I'm guessing is in original condition. But I like it. I love a little bit of patina. We've got some history to it. Uh, I, uh, I, I had friends, so I, I did it. It's like a few years. It's quite a lot of cars. Two nine three. 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 Two nine <laughs> Manual, sports seats, it looks lovely inside. Yellow calipers. Can you take a picture of the 993 for me? Not one golf black, single lights, white plate. Brian Drive, cloth interior. That's very clean and nice. That is very, very smart. Interior is mint. And the shoe. Looking at it, it's had paint. Paint job at some point. You always get lots and lots of MGs. That is a beautiful MG. Look at the interiors. That wood dash. Brown, I'm assuming, the leather. Really, really nice. 
See a lot, we walk past a lot. We don't give them the appreciation they deserve, but I really like this one in red. Lovely bit of kit. Oh, cool. There's a new series one turbo sport. A sprit, a spree. When you see them in the flesh. It looks bigger in real life than you see normally. It's got red leather interior. Most of the series ones have been modified to make them look like the James Bond car, but that one I'm assuming you can't count. Proper wedge shape. Black Lotus Badge. They made the, their own video game for this car. Did they? Oh, that's, that's ringing a bell actually. Was it called Lotus Esprit Driver? No, it's called Turbo e, e Spirit or Turbo Spirit. <laughs> Around green. So HVC combo to have. Purple. Quite small, but god damn, you sit low down. You sit low down in that, don't you? You really know when you're getting in that, that you're getting in the sports car. I've seen this for sale with the green cloth with the red tartan interior. I can't remember. Is this the one they did on Paris Erect? Right? They did do one, didn't they? I don't remember. The MG, 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 yeah, this is a serious car club, isn't it? They're all beautiful. I've never seen that many together. It was a prototype. Yeah. Wow. But part of it they refurbed out to make it look like the real cabin that was available. We went on it, do you remember? With Nano Val. Couple of nine two eights, old ones, B wedge and an A wedge. Honest old cars. Water. Water. Ooh, can't get through there. Oh, another one over there. Three nine two eights under Concord. Fighter jet. 
He's got a soft spot for a nice 944 S2. Yes. Mercedes Benz. <laughs> oh, that's nice. It's a whale tail. Is it the 930, 911? Turbo? Yeah, 911 RNX. Oof. Beautiful bit kit. Like an XL3 anyway. But also not a Capri. Ford's glory is. Quite injection. That's pretty good. Thanks to Lawrence. Dog spell. Yes, you can say it. Say it. Two of two point two HL. You can pretty much guarantee there won't be another one at the show. Is it right? Isn't that right? That's exactly it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mini. Oh, 
with the way that you can do yeah, see, at the um, Rover SD1, styles look like Ferrari Daytona, you see? Yeah, I do. I'm spoiled another, making a beeline for it. It's not black, it's grey, it's a 1.9 H ridge. It looks pretty flipping nice. Goodness me. Buy it off him. Sultan of Oman, there you go, 1964 Vickers of EC10. Yep. Three, four, eight, four, uh, never comes out quite red on camera, but it's very red in real life, trust me. Yeah. Three, four, eight, TV. Turbo. Turbo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 205 over here. There's also part next to the Mazda, I believe, 626. And again, you just don't see them anymore. So I'm gonna have a quick look at this. This looks like a special union, special union, GWS, four wheel drive, four wheel steering. Oh no, four wheel steering, not four wheel drive. Four wheel steering? Yeah. They were ahead of their time, weren't they? It is a 60 cent. You like it, don't you? Do you since the 70s and the Cornish oh, well, there's a load of them Seen quite a few 928s today. E30 cap. Moggy. BMW. Home series. Little mini. Started it well. Three door Sierra Cosworth. Silver Shadow. Silver Shadow's got moody tinted windows in it. The Sat, those are S's, not R's. Have a look at the convertible. That's the Rossi. Yeah. 
It's a really bad it's something. It's good, then. Um, mm. It did look a bit strange to be attached to us. It does look a bit odd, doesn't it? The front's a bit too narrow. It's a Corvette, Chevrolet Corvette, not a Testosa. Morgan. Oh, look at this Renault. Look at that. Look at this Jag. Why is it here? Last time. I think so. I remember the lights. There's one like citrus stain. Oh, yeah. Yeah, do you remember that? Yeah. Oh, I don't see it. Come on. Come on. Yeah, it's got the. Nine, four, four. Lambrover. Inboard lights. Oh, oh, Jaguar. Jack, you should have said Citroen. The uh, The Az. Oh yeah. I like it because it's, it's moody because it's, it's not got like chrome around the windows. Cars of this era are all like chrome. But that's nice. Is it a beater? Aye, too good aye. Nancy and Motorcore. Hello there. Is it a 4x4? Four four? Four. 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 But that's how they came. Or is that a new knife? And a 4x4. Four four. <laughs> Remember that? Didn't that feature on the show? I saw that recently. Ooh, Bentley, Rolls Royce. Thanks for watching this pedal video. If you liked it, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, if you haven't done, subscribe to the channel, like in the comments, like in the comments, like, write in the comments, tell us what you think. We'll see you again very soon. Cheers.